Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. 40 animals in the Evergreen Hunting Reserve. That is a little jubilee. Congratulations, EW. And the 40th animal is finally a feline, the Bobcat. Now, where can you find the Bobcat? I'm currently here on the southern island of Whiteheart Island, but this is only one of four reserves where you will find this feline. You can find the Bobcat on Whiteheart Island mostly on the southern part you can find it on loggers point you can find it on settler creeks and you can also find it on rougarou bayou the reserves of whiteheart island and loggers point are already very popular among players not so much settler creeks and also rougarou is more of a hunting map for ducks and I think the addition of the Bobcat will certainly add value to especially Settler Creeks and Rougarou Bayou. And before we get started here, I just want to mention this is on the beta server. Anything that you see or hear might be subject to change. For the Bobcat, there is a caller available. It's an electronic caller. This is what this device looks like. So it's basically a box that you can carry around and then you can flip open the speakers. It only plays one sound. It only attracts the bobcats. By default, the bobcat is set to the B key. I'm setting it out here, just placing it with the left mouse. And now you can see in the lower right. Uh, use the B key to see the options. Unfortunately for me, B is always the binoculars. So this is not a problem at all. What you can do is go to the options, go to the keyboard setup, and then under miscellaneous, the last setting, I'm going to set this to the P key. And since I don't use the dock, this is fine. Now I can use, I can uh, toggle the caller with the P key. Either I can dismantle it or I can toggle the lure from on to off. Now let's listen to it here. This is what it does, the sound of a distressed small game. You will hear the sound pretty far. You can know whether your caller is on and the toggling off or on of this caller uh, can be done from 40 meters away. You can also hear this sound in multiplayer so your friends will also know if there is a uh, device in the area that is luring cats. So I've now set out the caller and up here I have a tree stand. I will go up here now and wait for any cats to come in. So from up here, of course, I can nicely turn it off or on. Now there's other game in the area, of course, there's white tails here uh, in the south. What you will see is when the bobcat is around, you will all of a sudden see animals trot around a little bit stressed. And that's because the bobcat is actually scaring white tails, mule deer, pheasants, turkeys and cut tail rabbits. So these type of animals will trot away from the bobcat. Uh, and just now, actually, just now a whitetail bolted. 
I heard it run away. Oh, let's look at the white tail over here. See what it does? It's not the same spooking as from the player. Uh, if you scare an animal like this, it'll run at least 100 meters away. This one is just a little bit under stress now. So apparently we have a cat coming in. It's still calling, but it's still not easy. You can tell it's not at ease. It's trotting around. It's a little bit under stress now. It's sensing a cat coming in. The bobcat doesn't make a lot of calls, uh, but you can pick up the call with the hunter mate when it calls. Hopefully we'll have a call here. What's also special a little bit is that the bobcat will not run in, in a straight line like the other animals uh, will do most of the time. Come straight to the collar. It'll sneak in. It likes forest areas. So it'll stay more in the forests. If you have a large field, a large open field, uh, you might have more trouble luring the animal in. It's easier if there's a bit of forest around. Lots of white tails. But somehow we feel there's a bobcat around. The collar is doing, it's doing its job. When you turn off the collar now, the bobcat will immediately stop being attracted. And then you cannot attract it for a, a couple more minutes. So just leave it on. So hopefully we will so soon see the first cat coming in. Ooh, I have a spotting. I have spotting information of a cat. And I think it just ran. There it runs. I had spotting info. I didn't see it. I can tell you. I can tell you. This cat comes in very quietly. You cannot hear it. I had spotting. I was not fast enough. And the cat bolted. Now you will wonder, why did it run away? I didn't spook it. What happens is that the cat will approach the collar, it'll realize this is a fake, and then it'll be scared and run away. This is really cool. You have to be on your toes, so to speak. Uh, you have to be really looking around and check if there's cats coming. They will come, they will come to the collar, but then spook and run away. And when this happens now for a couple of minutes, uh, you will not be able to lure the cat back. It'll take a while for it to be attracted again. I tried this on Rugaru Bayou. Uh, that was a funny story. I set out the collar. I had a, ca a cat calling behind me. So I turned around. I was glassing. And the next I saw was a track right next to the collar and no cat. So the cat had come in and had already ran off while I was looking backwards, trying to figure where the bat bobcat was that had called, I had totally missed the one sneaking in. All I had was a track here. Too bad we missed this one. The permitted weapons for the bobcats are the same as for the red fox. More or less. This is not final yet. What you can certainly do is use the 243, which every player has for free, so that's a good thing. Also, I brought the bow. Maybe I can sh get a shot at the uh, cat with the bow, but it's difficult. It has to come close. You have to be quick before it scares. This white tail is easy. Not scared at all. So you can keep looking at your environment, at the other animals. That'll give you a sign whether that could be a bobcat around. 
Now, there's a number of things that have been asked in the live stream about this Bobcat, uh, about all the things that it might or might not do. Here's a number of, of things that the Bobcat does not do. It will not climb trees. It will not chase animals, even though they are stressed. It will not chase either these animals or small game. It will not attack the player. It will not attack yourself, the hunter. It will also not swim. So if it crosses uh, a river, you can see your dog swim. The bobcat will not swim. Hunting bobcats is a patience game. You have to be patient. Um, too bad we had one coming in. I wasn't able to, to actually spot it with the glasses. What I could do though is I could take out some of the other animals. There is a the call. Did you hear it? There is a the call of the bobcat. My tracking level is very low. I cannot tell whether this is male or female. And also regarding the tracking level, really, this is important. Tracking is... Uh, it, it's quite a challenge and now you can see the, the, the um, white tail trotting around now it's certainly out of its habits here so just to finish that thought tracking is a, qu a, a real challenge and increase your tracking level uh, to hunt the bobcat there's another white tail stressed that's quite a nice buck here but the size doesn't matter. All white tails will be in stress now as the bobcat comes in. You can tell. They start trotting. There's a similar effect when you have pheasants on Loggers Point and then the coyote comes in. The pheasants will just trot away. They don't want to get anywhere close. So this is really interesting. I've had really bucks coming out of the woods because of the bobcat. So this animal is becoming your uh, your helper for whitetail hunting all of a sudden. All the whitetails run out of the woods. I mean, this is a nice one. I would want to shoot it usually. If I wasn't going after bobcats. Now the low tracking level also means that the calling location shown on the hunter mate, the emerging circles there, are not very accurate. I think it's coming from this side here. But it's really important to increase your tracking level to make that circle more accurate so you really know where it's coming from. There it is. Look at this. Look at the color. I'm not going to take chances here, guys. I think this is a rare. I'm not sure. I am not sure, actually, if this is a rare bobcat. So sorry about shooting this so quickly. I really wanted to show you the behavior around the color. But this one we have to figure out quickly here. Very bright animal here. So let's pick it up. Our first bobcat here. And the harvest value is 100 because of the 243. That's a really suitable weapon for this animal. I hit the neck. Uh, the scoring is the score is 9.3. The scoring is made out of the skull width and height, similar to the the bear. The weight is 24 kilograms. I have no information how big they can get. Uh, this is a male, 24 kilograms. 
And I would say that's a nice kill here to start. Let's have a closer look here at this beautiful animal. You can see a lot of development between the first animals in this game and now the whiskers, the fur, even just the colors. I mean, this is a beautiful animal. Really nicely done. And here we go, our first bobcat. I will actually taxidermy this one. And then we can go and put it in the trophy lodge. I've scared everything now with the shooting. I will do another session here. Uh, we will be right back here in the very same place. Before starting a new session, let's go to the lodge and put it in there. The cat that we shot. And I did check the statistics. Was it an albino? Let's go see. Let's go here to the management. And on the medium platform where you see foxes and wolves and goats, you can see the bobcat here. And unfortunately, it was not an albino. It was a gray variation. So it is just a lighter version, a lighter color of the common one. Let's put it here. Here's our bobcat. Not an albino, but pretty nonetheless. Taxidermy did a great job. They fixed the shot that I did right through the face. Thank you very much. This looks a lot better. So let's go and use that same lure, the same place once again to find another cat. And we are back and we have to be silent. <laughs> um, I'm going to climb my tree stand again. This time I toggle my collar from up here. And we can hear it nicely chat away. So let's just see what happens. There are three callers for the bobcat. You can use your predator jackrabbit call. This one here. You can use the motion predator decoy or you can use the e-collar which I'm using here. The e-collar is just more effective. There is less attraction by the uh, jackrabbit collar or the motion predator decoy. Also if you just keep adding collars, so let's say you have the e-collar, you keep calling with this one and you add the um, decoy, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't stack, it doesn't increase the luring effect. Uh, the bobcat will just be attracted to the e-collar. Also in multiplayer or anywhere, um, if you used two collars, that doesn't increase the chances. There is actually a minimal distance between two e-collars of 400 meters. That is the same as with the baiting stations. Uh, so you cannot put out two collars and then hope for more cats to come in. Most cats are traveling alone, uh, but they did say in the live stream that there is a small chance that a male and a female would travel together. This can happen. They also mentioned the scariness of the cat. Uh, bobcats are more scared than foxes. Foxes are really sensible animals already. They will see you within 30 meters, even if you lay flat. Uh, and the bobcats, I've really seen here, they're really, really cautious. So hopefully here we can have a bobcat come in, we can observe it. 
Uh, so we can see what it does once it approaches the collar and then bolts. They say that the call of the bobcat is rare or not so frequent. Um, but I think it's not too bad when you sit on a tree stand like this here, like I've been doing in a few test sessions. I had a few calls actually from different cats, so it's certainly less than your whitetail and your elk, but it's still okay. You will know if any bobcats are around. But like mentioned before, the better signs actually of bobcats being in the area are uh, trotting animals like the white tails here or uh, in settler creeks you will see turkeys trot around you will see cottontail rabbits hop away those are the best signs that something's happening So on this southern island, I have found tracks uh, in various areas, which is good. So hopefully the southern island will get a bit more life, especially the, the most southern part of this island. And of course, if you find more locations, please put a note below the video. Everyone will be happy to know. I think I should just lure whitetails in as my alarm system. Have some whitetails around, see how they behave. Sometimes I feel I hear something approach, uh, but it's certainly not the cat that is so super silent. That cat is a real challenge. The common variation is really bright orange, similar to the red fox. So that you might spot by chance. Oh, down there we have a white tail. Not nervous. At least not yet. Yeah, just come over here. By the way, there is a, a limit of the e-callers. You can set up up to eight in a reserve. But it's not like a baiting station where you have to wait for it to, to start attracting after some time. You can also carry it around, carry your tree stand around. And then when you get a sign of a bobcat, set it up. The tree stand has a spook radius of 100 meters. Anything beyond that will not be scared. So that's all the way for hunting the bobcat. Now our alarm system has arrived. Well. 
and very calm right now. Look at this. Look at this. Spotting found us a bobcat. See how it's sneaking in. So quiet, so slow. Really hard. Now let's see what the white tail does down here. Where is it? I want to measure the distance. Oh, look, white tail being nervous. There is your cat somewhere. <laughs> really quiet. Sneaky little cat, hard to spot, hard to see. And we can hear the trotting of the white tail. There it is. So this time we just want to see what happens when it gets close to the collar. This is a darker version. Beautiful movements. Now it stops, listens. That's what cats do. Every now and then they freeze, even with the paw up in the air. There it comes closer. And this cat is not interested in the collar. Which is nice, so it's showing us some of the animations. <laughs> now this was served on a plate, on a golden plate. So let's look at this one. male of roughly 20 kilograms and I'm back in the tree stand and my only explanation why the cat was not interested in the collar must be that it was scared before it was scared uh, might have ran away from the collar and now wasn't interested but it was nice that it was uh, sneaking back right through our garden here through our backyard a white tail has snuck in in the meantime as well and it is at ease which means for now there might not be a bobcat in the area time for us to move on Let's go over to Settler Creeks.
Settler Kriegs here, one of the less popular maps. I think the Bobcat is going to change this a little bit. I'm over here in the west of the map. This is the, the tent and where I have the collar. And this is just off Highland Lodge, just a short walk over here. And on the older maps, we have these permanent towers that we can utilize. Down here is the collar. Let's get it going. There are quite some white tails around here. A lot of turkeys, feral hawks. Not so many bears, not so many elk. And no cottontail rabbits at all. And we should have some bobcats. When I was figuring out good places here, at some point I found tracks of three different cats very close to each other. So they are certainly around here. I think one of the reasons why this map is less popular is because of the dense vegetation. It's not easy to follow animals to find the next track. Also a lot of rocks around, very rough terrain, lots of hills. There's a hill going right across the island here. So even though there is trophy game like whitetails and elk, for some reason people don't like this map too much. Oh, what do we have here? The orange version. Finally sneaking in. So I will let this cat just walk up to the collar and then sprint off. Collar is over here. And there it goes. Uh, just nicely behind the tree. And there is our bobcat. So it comes close, not all the way to it. It figures out there's something wrong here. And then takes off. But we have the orange version found. And we have shown Settler Creek's works as well. 9.1 kilogram male scoring a lot lower always pull your trophy into the sun if you can
I actually just want to look at it. It's just beautiful. And a shot or a look from the front. The common bobcat, very nicely done. So this is Settler Creeks, a short session here. Let's head over to Rugaru Bayou. <laughs> This is Rugaru Bayou, a very unique map, mostly used for duck hunting and also for bobcats now. Just starting here, we have a call from a bobcat. I can barely do the start here. So let's get started here. I have a tree stand here. I'm going to enter it. On the map, this is just south of the Northern Lodge. Uh, the bobcat will be in these areas, in the non-swampy areas. And so I picked this place here. Let's get this one going as well. There's our caller. And I'm going to switch seats here. So that I can see it better. In this area here, all we have really m is uh, white tails. Later in the session, bears and ferals will walk over here as well. But this is a good corner for white tail hunting. And to me, it appears it's also good for bobcats. It's going to come from here somewhere. I don't think I will ever see it if it's coming here through all the, the woods here until it's going to come out here, hopefully. And then walk over here to the collar. It's a very crooked tree here where we mounted our two person tree stand. <laughs> but it works. There's not too many trees here that will take a tree stand. This one's too small. And then some are not too bad, or some will take it, but a lot of branches before you. like this one so let's see if the bobcat comes and how long it takes it was way out there You will probably find better places to hang your tree stand or build your tower. Oh, look, look, look. The white tails are getting nervous. Excellent. Show me the kitty. There could be more bobcats. I'm expecting one to come in here from the right. I need to keep an eye on the caller. 
This is the place that I mentioned earlier where I was looking back here, trying to figure out where the cat was. Next time I looked, there was a track and no cat to be seen. Really nice to have this white tail here. Might have lost it now, but oh well. My focus has to be down here. I can hear the white tail now. Another call. Now that is our bobcat way down there, almost leaving the render range now. I doubt it's coming. Yet the white tail over here goes crazy. I'm really assuming there must be another. If you see the bobcat, please call, <laughs> I was just going to say. So this is another one. It's not the one that called. This comes from the exactly the opposite direction. And I think the place already proved to be pretty good. I will take the cat out. This is Rugaru Bayou. The place just works nicely as well. You might find a better place, a better tree stand with no branches in front of your eyes. But there you go. That is the Bobcat. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some good places. Never got annoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.